Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Callie and today I'm going to be opening the July Owl Crate. So really excited about this. Um, so our theme for this one is Date with Destiny. So very Oracle-y kind of things. So the first thing I see is a box and I'm pretty sure I know what this is because we were told that this month we were getting the next installment in the Karakozik Harry Potter mug. So this is probably, it's our mug. All right, so we have this beautiful mug uh, featuring different aspects of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So we have them looking at memories, the dark uh, mark over the castle, potions, all little homages to the sixth Harry Potter uh, book slash film. All right, so the next thing I see is this little thing. I'll grab this first. Foxway Diner Apron. Oh, so it's an apron. I have no idea what Foxway is though. Okay, so Foxway is from the Raven Cycle, um, which I've actually never read. Um, so I'm not gonna super unfold this. Um, you can kind of see um, the main aspects of it. I assume that's like a major diner in the series. I don't know, I've never read it. Um, and I kind of have no desire to. The plot just doesn't super speak to me. Ooh, next we have a tin full of arrow paper clips. I have things fall over me all the time. I have this tin. Whoosh. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Okay, so this is a Hunger Games thing. Uh, explains the arrows, so we got that. And we have these really cool arrow paper clips. I love that. That's really unique and something that I'll actually use. I love using paper clips. Um, I use them for a bunch of different things around my home office and my work office. Next, it looks like we have a bookmark. So we have this Kylo Ren and Ray double-sided. Feels like a woodmark. Feels sturdier than a woodmark though. This is really cool. I really like Star Wars. Go right in the little mug. All right, next we have the pin. So it is this very pretty star that says decide your fate. Next we have tea, Riddle's Tea Shop, an Owl Clate exclusive Simon Sour Cherry Scones, loose leaf tea. So we have a decaf Ceylon, Ceylon tea with rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural wild cherry flavor, cherries, and natural vanilla flavors. Ooh, that smells, yeah, that smells like cherry pie. That'll be really tasty. There's not a ton of this though. At least with the coffee, I can get the coffee to last me a while. I still, and I drink coffee every day. That maybe lasts one or two cups of tea. All of the squiggles. So it looks like the last thing is our book. So the book for this month is Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. So this, they made it brighter. There's also these beautiful gold sprayed edges. Anything. We got the cool star that matches our pin almost. Um, I've heard bits and pieces about this book. Um, I know it's been kind of on radar. I know it's a sci-fi. So this, so this girl went into a cryonic sleep for a trip across the galaxy, and wakes up a hundred years. She wakes up a thousand years later when she was supposed to wake up a hundred years later on the other side of the galaxy. And people now started calling her goddess. Interesting. So that ought to be an interesting take. We have our news booklet and our spoiler card for, or not spoiler card, our hint card for next month, which is written in the stars. And it says every box, every August box will include a book sleeve designed by the Quirky Cup Collection. So love book sleeves. I have a very large collection of book sleeves. I use them every single day. What, um, I always bring a book to work. Um, whenever I go anywhere, um, I always bring a book and I always make sure to use a book sleeve because I want my books protected. So 
always use a book sleeve. So Written in the Stars, that's a really fun one. I'm really excited to see what fandoms. I'm hoping for some like Illuminae, Aurora Rising, um, maybe even some Lunar Chronicles. Um, immediately I know exactly what book this is. It has been high up on my TBR, um, or high up on my anticipated reads list um, ever since the cover dropped uh, last year. So very, very pumped for this book. I would say overall this box isn't my favorite. Um, I dig, I'm digging the mug, the tea, and the paper clips, and I guess the bookmark. Um, really I think just like the apron disappointed me. I'm not a bit, A, I don't, I don't cook. I do bake, but I don't cook. Um, and I never wear an apron when I bake anyway. I've never seen a purpose of wearing an apron. So a little bit, eh. I am really excited for the book and yeah, so that's gonna be it. I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna hopefully um, the next clip will be me opening the July fairy loot box. All right, so I just got my fairy loot. I opened it a little bit, but I haven't peeked yet. So I'm very excited to get into it. So ta -da! very full. Um, so this month's theme is Resilient Royals, which is really cool. I love the art and just you can feel the sass which you typically do get in the resilient royal trope in books there is just never-ending sass so we have this fabric item is this another canvas thing it is not i think this is a pillowcase i know what this is oh that's so cool so this says through love all is possible and it's got the crescent so this is crescent city I am obsessed with Crescent City. It's great. It's Sarah J. Moss's newest book. Um, oh, and there's so many like awesome details. So this is the back, um, which shows basically a simplified map of the city. And we have Bryce's necklace. Oh, this is this is amazing. I need to like get a decorative pillow to put this on now. Okay, starting off strong with one of my favorite books of uh, 2020. So next we have this little package. Okay, um, it's a moon. Oh, it's like a little card holder thing. Well, this is cute. So this is just like a cute little card holder inspired by Queen's Rising. So this is really cute. And if you have like a smaller purse you wanna bring and don't wanna bring your full wallet, you can just take a couple of cards, some cash. We have another, I think it's gonna be a bookmark. Oh, several bookmarks. Oh, I know what these are. Okay, so we have this little um, combination of magnetic bookmarks, and these look like the same design as Woven in Moonlight. And I am right, it is Woven in Moonlight. So um, she weaves um, animals onto canvas and they end up coming to life. And it's a beautiful story inspired by Bolivian folklore. Highly recommend the book, it's great. Um, those are really cute. I don't typically use magnetic bookmarks all that often, but they're really fun to display. Next we have an art print. Um, I have no idea what this is from. It almost looks like, I don't know, it looks like kind of a generic couple. Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden art print. So this is Vasya and Morozko. Never read that book, um, but the art is really pretty, so... I assume this is our main two characters. I think that's another story based off of um, North of the Sun, West of the Something. It's a old Norse tale that um, inspired Beauty and the Beast. Next we have our tarot cards and it looks like we have four because we didn't get any in the June box. So we have the Two of Swords, which looks like Kel from A Darker Shade of Magic. The Ace of Swords, which looks like Lila from A Darker Shade of Magic. Three of Swords, um, which is probably, it's definitely another person from, this is all a darker shade of magic. I can definitely tell. I just can't remember the character names. It is a series that I would love to reread again. And then we have the Four of Swords as well, who's our piratey boy. Can't remember his name though, which I feel really bad about. But great series by V.E. Schwab. All right, next we have a candle, which is the Ash Crown. Um, and we have the art from the Ash Princess which is black currant tea. Ooh, that, it smells like, it smells like you're walking into a tea shop. You get that almost fruity dessert smell with the herbal uh, tea. 
I really like the Ash Princess series. Uh, I have yet to finish it though. It's on my list of series to finish. I have uh, finished book one and two. It's a great resilient royal story and it is it, it's an interesting book because or series because it has mix of very well-known tropes but it's also unique in different aspects. I really like it. It's fun. Um, it's actually one of the first books that I saw in a bookstore when I first got back into reading and went that's a cover buy. I'm buying it. So it was one of those. So next we have this like little trinket tray which is really cute. I love getting these. They're so much fun to display because you can also put other things on top of them. So this says, one should never save cake for later when it can be eaten now from Winter by Marissa Meyer. So that's really cute. So it's like a cake tray or like a little food tray that you can keep in your kitchen. I still think this is gonna stay in the library just because I don't wanna dirty it because it's really pretty. <laughs> I think what's left is our book bundly stuff. Yep, that's it. The rest are just squiggles. So they actually wrapped our book again this month. Uh, they haven't the past couple, so which is totally fine because they said that they weren't doing it because it would have increased transit time. So I appreciate that they at least let us know um, all of that. So we have, I believe that's our author letter. We have our bookmark, which I'm actually... Okay, so I'm actually kind of sad this only shows, granted it shows the sassy princess, but I'm kind of sad it doesn't show the whole thing. Uh, that's our fairy scoop. And then our book. Ready? One, two. Whoosh. All right. Ooh, I like the change they made. So this is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. And we have it signed. I'm digging the black edges. I don't know how I feel about the green background. I know in the original cover it had a almost pastel-y blue that matched the sword here, um, which I think made the character herself pop a little bit more. So it looks like this follows a princess who is the second born heir where in this world the firstborn has magical abilities. It looks like they're also losing a war and she has to reach the home of her new betrothed and save the world. So yeah, I always loved the forced marriage trope. Um, it, it allows for a lot of really interesting dynamics, I think, between characters. Overall, I'm really excited to read this. This looks extremely interesting. Um, not super digging the green, unfortunately, but green is typically not a color I gravitate towards anyway, so it's what it is. So we have our fairy scoop that I'm gonna hit myself in the face with, apparently. I don't like, the first fairy loot I got in May, this was on like a thicker cardstock paper, and now it's really flimsy and I don't like ripping it because I feel like I'm gonna just rip the whole thing and I don't wanna do that because I like to keep these. So it, this shows us our theme for August, which is Let the Games Begin. And I know exactly what book this is. Um, and I am so pumped. This book has been on my radar for months, actually probably almost close to a year. The second that they released the cover for this, I was all over it. It is a book based on Hindu mythology. Um, and that just sounds extremely intriguing. So yeah, we've got all of that. We've got our very cool art print for Shielded with our author letter on the back. So that is this, that is July's Fairy Loot Box. I am really loving it. I love the candle. It smells amazing. And I especially love this that's gonna fall down. Just cause I am obsessed with Crescent City and the detailing in this is phenomenal. I am really loving it. I. Really, the only thing I dislike is the art print, and that's because I haven't read the book. So it is what it is. But that is going to be it for today's video. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. If you like the fact that we've started combining our unboxings, um, let us know. If you want them to continue to be separate videos, we can go back to doing that too. This just felt easier, opposed to having so many unboxings within a month, because I know Sarah and I both subscribe to two book boxes each. So that's... It's a lot of unboxings for one month. So we figured opposed to having four, we could have two. So let us know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.